Hello everyone, I'm Amy Cook, the right AOC, CEO of the John Locke Foundation and publisher of Carolina Journal. In committee testimony, the North Carolina Chamber presented some sobering statistics. More than half of the state's small businesses will close by mid-April if the stay-at-home order remains in effect. Roughly 25% have closed already and 40% of the remaining will close in two weeks if restrictions continue. Read the whole story on carolinajournal.com. Now we know that COVID-19 is a serious medical and health crisis, but the response to it has led to an economic one and also a constitutional one. And yes, they all matter. I think it's perfectly natural and fair to have questions for those making these challenging decisions. And in that spirit, the Carolina Journal staff posed some legitimate questions to Governor Roy Cooper. Questions like, who are you consulting to guide your decision making? Are business and civic leaders and elected officials from both parties involved? Have you or your economic advisors done an economic analysis of the shutdown? And have you considered a reopening strategy? These aren't gotcha questions. These are reasonable questions that North Carolinians have. So what was Governor Cooper's response? Silence, even after multiple attempts to reach him. Good decisions die in darkness. We have a right to be concerned. Our health is a serious concern, but there's more. When unemployment claims skyrocket, our ability to feed our families is at stake. When drive through church services are forbidden and our ability to defend ourselves is threatened, then our individual civil liberties are also at stake. And the longer this goes on, the more questions we'll have. Now, if you have questions or feedback, email me at therightaoc at johnlock.org. We'll keep asking and then we'll share the response or the lack of a response with all of you. Check out all of our great work at johnlock.org and carolinajournal.com. And please don't forget the donate button in the upper right-hand corner. Every dime is an investment for freedom. Please stay safe and stay healthy.